We've worked on several projects involving research into how post-millennials use digital to inform decisions around higher education. We've spoken to students from all over the world to discover whether being the first generation to grow up with mobiles and social media has affected their preferences around consuming online content. Our research is also relevant beyond higher education as we're seeing post-millennials entering the workforce in increasing numbers. I want to share three common assumptions that frustrated this audience and that they were keen to challenge. Firstly, that they have short attention spans. Also, that they don't read content. And finally, that they're only interested in feel-good stories. Long content they don't mind, but they expect to be in control of when and where they consume it. Consider introducing concepts and topics with short interactions, followed by clear and compelling calls to action that encourage this audience to dig deeper into the detail. It's important to understand they scan content to quickly select what's relevant. Having been raised on long scrolling mobile websites, they expect clear descriptive headlines supported by snappy subtitles and captions to draw them in. If they can't instantly see the value, they probably won't engage. This group are very aware that the world isn't perfect. Stories that offer less risk feeling inauthentic and being ignored. Do tell stories that relate to legitimate concerns and that feel real. And make sure peer stories share the initial struggle and stress of the journey before revealing the warm glow of success. Remember, this is the Pixar generation. Post-millennials are a great audience to design content for because they've grown up with amazing digital experiences. Just lead with short interactions that are clearly signposted, authentic and presented in a way that lets them take control. I learned something.